Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hey, what's going down everyone? Max Carnage here, and earlier today I managed to get in some crazy 12v12 games on the test server, and I think I preferred over 8v8, even though most of my games had like 3 to 4 DCs, or they ended up something like this. Base is being captured. Base, 25% base, 50% base, 75% base, 90% captured. You lose. But honestly, I think it was more the conditions and the timing for the test server and people's computers not being able to take 12 players on the, the map that really caused a lot of the issues. One thing I thought about almost immediately was that having teams of 12 instead of 8 means it's a bit harder to solo the entire other team with a few of your friends. And if you're playing solo yourself, then you're going to be about 33% less effective trying to Rambo the other team. I'm not sure about that math. Someone might want to check that in the comments there. <laughs> Now, with more mechs to shoot at, it's almost indirect buff to energy weapons, because all weapons needing ammunition are going to need more if they want to stay relevant as the battle progresses. Ballistics are hit the worst, especially popular ones like the AC-20s and gauze cannons. If you want to make the same amount of difference, and it's like having no guns to fire, you're going to need a little more ammo. Of course, this means less tonnage for other things, and flasher ammo explosions if you get hit. This could mean more dark days for Jaeger mech fans, as PJ has a lot on their plate at the moment and I haven't heard anything about buffs to ammunition capacity. With more players on the field, concepts like teamwork and communications are going to be that much more important. From my experience as a World of Tanks vet, I'm concerned this may lead to assault matches, where everyone just decides to camp near their base and boat LRMs or PPCs, and as you know those are already very prevalent in the current meta. However, there may be some hope because I saw a dev update today concerning building specifically and while I may not agree with the complicated solutions proposed, it should work to reduce PPC building at the very least. They might even be buffing SRM damage and fixing light max hickboxes apparently, proving they do pay attention to the community so cut them a little slack guys. <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm just happy we got another giant mech game that when we blow up other giant robots. What's more fun than that, right, guys? <laughs> uh. Target acquired. Target acquired. I wish I brought a lighter mech to this match to demonstrate, but as you can tell, even a massive map like Alpine feels less sparse with four more mech stomping on it. Smaller maps feel almost like arena battles, and I think there will on average be a lot more brawling and less base capping in these crowded conditions. So there's nobody likes playing capture mode in Assault. <laughs> Now, I never played Battletech, but friends tell me four-man lances are nice and cannon, but that company says it's usually three lances, twelve pilots, not eight. 
So hopefully this cheers up lore enthusiasts. I might feel a bit left out with all the alterations that have been made from the tabletop. Base is being captured. After five minutes of walking and talking, I guess I should probably shut up for a bit and uh, shoot at the other team. New target. Base is being captured. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Base is being captured. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Heat level critical. Target acquired. Heat level critical. Base is being captured. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Now to summarize. For the pros, it's good for energy mix. The maps seem more alive, especially bigger ones like Tourmaline and Alpine. You're going to make more money if you manage to stay alive because you're going to get more equipment destruction. I'm not sure if they're going to alter those numbers at all. Of course, it's bad for ballistic weapons. I mean, that much is obvious. It could be very camper friendly, and it's not so great for people who like to play solo. Well, that wraps things up. Think I missed an important point or you have an alternative opinion on this subject? Please let me know in a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.